Hello there, it's Cassie. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I am back with a blog post slash video for the inspiration team for Brutus Monroe, and our challenge was to use subscription items. So I'm using the stencil of the month for this one, and I wanted to show you something that's pretty new, not only the subscription of the month, but these Brutus Monroe Night Shift Embossing Powders. These are new, pretty much all the products I'm using are pretty new. And so I wanted to show you what they look like on the different papers. I've stamped them out onto some white cardstock, and look at that shine. If you look at them head on, you can see they look mostly black but to put them onto some different cardstocks, they shine and shimmer and I love that. So there they are on craft and also black because they're gorgeous on black. But then if you turn them, they just look black. And then you kind of move them around in the light and that's where you get the different colors of the embossing powder. So I think it's really ingenious. I've never seen any products like that before. So let's get started making what we're gonna make today. I am going to start off with just some of that white cardstock and I have a mini ink blending tool along with the embossing ink and I'm going to put that all over my background just in little circles and obviously you can't see where you're putting it. You won't know until you put your embossing powder on and I'm using a coffee filter to catch the extra embossing powder and at this point I'm thinking well I went a little heavy with this first color which was the red but I'm going to go ahead and heat set that and because I'm using that ink blending tool and I'm using embossing powders, you can just go right over other areas where maybe I put a little too much red and I can put another color. So as you can tell, it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but it will look better as I keep going. I'm gonna start adding some more color. So this one is going to be the night shift blue or green. I'm gonna start with green or go with green next. And I just put that in a few of those gaps. Obviously I'm overlapping, which is okay. And then I'll heat set that and heating that won't hurt the powder underneath as long as you don't hold it there for too long. But um, because the, pa uh, the, the paper is still fairly warm from the last time, not too crazy hot, it heated up pretty quickly. And then I'll move on to using the blue. And uh, this is just going to be my whole background. I love it. I could just play with these powders all day and it makes me you know it just really makes the my wheels turn with different ideas on how you could possibly use it and then I'll fill in those the rest of those gaps and I will use the mulberry night shift embossing powder which is a little bit more of a purple but now I've filled in all of those gaps mostly and then I'll heat set that once again till that's all smooth and melted and you'll be able to tell because you'll see it change in the light. And then I'll slow it down here to give you a shot at what it actually looks like. Looks pretty dark, almost black, just to look at it head on. And then you can see all that beautiful color as you turn it. Now we'll move on to using the dye of the month. And so this is only available through subscription, but it's such a good deal. And I am tacking down some lunch bag cardstock, just using, I wanna make sure it doesn't shift as I put it through my die cutting machine. So I'm using some washi tape just on those ends. And then I will run that through. And this one did not need a shim at all. And oh, yeah. I love all the dies of the month, but this one, I don't know why, this one just has a special place in my heart. Could you imagine putting like maybe little rainbows or something? I know they look like blooms, but wouldn't that be cute if they were all little rainbows? Oh my goodness the ideas. So I'm going to use liquid glue to adhere this down to my background that I made using those night shift embossing powders. And there's also some other stuff in the night shift line or one other thing. There are some pigment, aqua pigments. So if you like their aqua pigments, give the uh, night shift aqua pigments a try as well. Those really look the best on black cardstock. So all right, my card base is once again some of that lunch bag card stock. I had cut that, that down to four and a quarter by 11 inches and scored it at five and a half inches to make a top folding A2 size card. And I put foam tape all over the back of my panel to add some extra dimension. And then I'll just adhere that to the front of the card. I love that the dies actually cover an entire A2 size card. So that is, they just cover the whole front. For my sentiment, I grabbed the stamp set called Tree of Thanks. And I'm just using one of the thank yous in there 
Got a little overzealous pressing down because my ink pad is actually very juicy. Uh, so I stamped it again, covered that with some blue night shift embossing powder, and then I'll just heat set that till that is smooth and melted. But that stamp set is great because it has a lot of different thank yous in it. And that beautiful tree that goes along with it. So yeah. And then I'll trim that down just using my wire cutter. Now, if you haven't followed along with our blog hops before, you'll definitely want to go check it out because the rest of the team will probably have some, no, I know they have some amazing things because I've been seeing it popping up all week. Uh, and so you will definitely want to go check out the blog hop. I will have my blog listed down below and that will bring you to all of the rest of the team. So be sure to head back to my blog and that way you can go check out everybody else's stuff. So I'll adhere down my sentiment just using the liquid glue and then that's going to finish off this card. I love it. Pretty happy with the way that turned out. So if you like this card, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Head over to my blog and check out the rest of the team's stuff because you won't want to miss that. And as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by.